Hey guys, today I'm pretty excited because I'm talking about the new Powder Kiss Lipstick Formula from MAC. Now, I ordered these Tuesday evening, um, that was October 9th, and I took the priority shipping option, that was like $6 Canadian, and it got here today, which is Thursday, October 11th. Um, I was gonna do the free standard shipping, but it said three to nine business days, and I'm pretty impatient for that, and with where I live, it's pretty remote, it'll likely be nine business days. So I picked up three of these. Now these are $23 Canadian or 19 US dollars, which is the same as all of their other lipstick formulas. The packaging is very similar to all their other lipsticks, um, but except this one is matte. So this is a satin one, and this is the Powder Kiss. I really like the matte formulas, but everything kind of sticks to this kind of formula and it gets dirty, so we'll see about that. So I ordered three shades. I ordered my Tweety, which is described as a blushy nude. I also ordered Impulsive, which is described as a warm brown. And finally, I ordered Sweet No Sugar, which is described as a clean warm pink. Right now, I'm wearing my Tweety. So here are the swatches. On the very left hand side we have Impulsive, in the middle is My Tweety, and finally is Sweet No Sugar. Comparing these, these shades in person to on the website, just in the tube the shades are a bit darker and just more like muted. On the website they kind of look lighter and brighter, but in person just a bit darker. Not severely, just a bit in case you were wondering and trying to order shades. So this Powder Kiss formula is described as a moisture matte kind of weightless formula, and I definitely agree with that. It is unlike any other matte formula I have. Like I don't, I can't think of any lipsticks that I have that are like what I'm wearing right now. Like it's matte, but it doesn't feel like it dries down and I can still like pat my lips together and like the formula is shifting. Like I can feel that it's not, dry and sucking the life out of my lips, which I love that. <laughs> so these definitely don't go on. They're not a very opaque formula. Um, you have to build it up if you want to like get more color there. Um, but with building it up, it can get a bit streaky and uneven. Um, I found what works best is build it up like as much as you want and then pat it with your finger and it gives you a nice, really soft color to the lips. It's beautiful, but just swiping it on over and over like a regular lipstick, it doesn't really work for me. I find it just looks uneven and streaky. When I'm applying this, it just feels like I'm putting on like a lip balm. It's definitely weightless. Doesn't feel like I'm wearing lipstick at all. With that though, keep in mind that this is not a matte formula that's going to stay in place no matter what you do. It is gonna wear off over time. I prefer that to like a liquid lipstick that once it's there, it's there. That makes touch up really easy. You don't have to worry about it getting all gooped up and nasty. And it's just, it's much more comfortable. So I'm just gonna talk about the shades one by one. So starting with Impulsive, um, this applies much warmer on the lips than it looks in the tube. It looks a bit more orangey on the lips. In the tube, like when it's untouched, it looks pretty cool toned and dark and those shades don't usually look that great on me. But I was pleasantly surprised when I applied this. It's more warm and orangey, so it's not a really harsh brown. This is definitely a beautiful shade for fall. Um, next up, Sweet No Sugar. I think this was actually my least favorite shade. It looks pretty like white-based when I apply it to my lips, which I don't really like. If I'm not careful, I can get kind of like concealer looking lips. It's just not a good look. And um, really on my skin tone, I'm not a huge fan. It's an okay shade if I just apply a bit and pat it out. But uh, if it's if I build it up too much, it doesn't look that great on me. This also, if I'm not careful, it makes my lips look way drier when they are. Something about how it applies, it just kind of bunches up around the dry spots and it's just not a good look. Just this shade out of the three. The other two are great and my Tweety. Not much to say about this shade. It's my favorite shade. I think it looks the most flattering on me out of these three shades. Pretty much just a perfect all year round nude lipstick in a really great formula. So 
this will be a new fave for sure. But yeah, I think this is a really great formula. Cause like when I'm at work, for example, I don't always have time to go to the bathroom, check up on my makeup, carefully apply my lipstick. Um, I don't have time to deal with that. So this is a nice way to like have that color on my lips and you don't have to be too careful with these. Like if it's not precise, you're not really gonna notice because it's not a super opaque formula which is great. So you can pretty much just swipe it on and go. So yeah, I really like the formula. It's not transfer proof. Like I applied this shade 30 minutes ago, maybe. It's still, I don't even know if you can see that, but it's still like, it comes off on my hand. Not a huge amount, but there is a little bit there. Well, to summarize, um, I really like this formula. It's not gonna be a very long lasting formula just cause it doesn't fully set down. Um, which I actually love. It makes touch-ups easier, it makes application easier, um, it's comfortable. This is basically my perfect matte formula. I feel like I finally found it. Definitely gonna pick up more of these once they come to my store. Uh, it's really hard for me to pick lipstick shades online. Like I kept going back and forth and I couldn't decide. A lot of them are very similar, but still different. Um, but yeah, I picked these three. Please no comments about how boring I am because I picked the most basic shades. I already know, okay? Okay. Anyways, that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know if you've tried this formula yet or if you want to, if you're interested in it, let me know. Thanks for watching and I will see you later. Bye.